The Army was pretty good, and this was Air Force, really. Yeah. But it wasn't, it wasn't the Air Corps yet. It wasn't Air Force yet, it was Air right. Corps. Right, right, right. And uh, they were pretty good at getting, taking advantage of what your knowledge and experience was. And they didn't, uh, so uh, they apparently didn't have a need right then for people mapping, photo mapping. They sent me to Air Intelligence School at Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And there we learned to uh, measure things on photos like uh, length of railroad tracks and, and identify trains and, you know, identify from aerial photos damage, d uh, bomb damage and features to, to bomb and that kind of stuff. Air, it, it was aerial photo intelligence. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I learned to do that. And, uh, uh, and then I was assigned to uh, Will Rogers Field in uh, Oklahoma. And, and and I was in a photo interpreter's company there, which is all officers. It was all officers, uh, photo interpreters. Uh, but I still like mapping. And there was there a uh, an engineer company, a battalion really forming. It was within the Corps of Engineers, but it was assigned to the Air Force to do mapping and they let me transfer from the, from the Air, Air Corps to the Corps of Engineers in, the, in a photo mapping battalion that, was, that would produce maps and print them and they, they do the whole business mobily. Hmm. And that was, they were scheduled to go overseas right soon. And this was the 942nd Engineer Topographic Battalion was the name of the Battalion, a, a Corps of Engineers battalion attached to the Eighth Air Force headquarters in England, and so we were due to go to the Eighth Air Force headquarters, which is at High Wycombe, England, and we, and about thirty miles northwest of, Fort, of uh, London, but uh, of London, but uh, on the uh, on the grounds of the girls' school, which is. Uh, in, in High Wycombe was taken over and the girls' school girl itself was taken over as the headquarters for the 8th Air Force headquarters, General Doolittle and that book. Yeah, right, uh-huh. And we, we lived up on the hill in a Quonset and, uh, uh, and then worked. And we were in a, a mobile, uh, it was a mobile uh, map making thing with the of uh, a six by sixes, uh, big trucks, mm -hmm. big army trucks, mm -hmm. six by sixes, and vans, and things were mounted right in the vans, so they, they were completely mobile. Mm -hmm. and we weren't mobile because we didn't have to be yeah. backed up to a dock instead of Jiffy made dock, a little not really Jiffy made, just a wooden dock. Right at, we could see the head, the head horse headquarters building right strolling throw away from where we were. and. And uh, back all these vans up to the dock, and there was a camera van, and there was a uh, plate making van to make the, the photographic plates. This is offset lithography, which makes a, takes a big 22 by 29 inch plate grained and with a with a coating that has an image on it that huh. takes ink and transfers it to the to the paper and. Uh, uh, and uh, had a press, several press vans and a graining van to reprocess the plates and a makeup van which would, where artists uh, made the maps and put stuff together and you can see how. Wow. Uh, huh. And then we had inside too, an inside building which made it a lot easier but, as well as those out there. So I'm assuming the whole process was uh, uh, you would send out reconnaissance to, to photograph over Europe or wherever they bring it back, and then you would you would manipulate it into a map. Uh, well, it, it was not only that; it was it was it was maps. Yes, it could be where air photos would take a photo, and then they'd bring it in, and and uh, draftsmen would convert it to a map, and then we print it. That was part of it, but that wasn't the biggest part, as it turned out. The biggest part was printing informational information. And one that I remember especially was 
a big, we had a, we had two sizes of press, a 22 by 29 Webendorf, and we had a 20 by 22, I uh, forget what the name of that was, uh, press. But it was, uh, in that one of the small presses, they made a, it was a big one page with a big picture of a jet airplane. Wow. The first jet airplane that the, that the Germans had, a picture of it and its characteristics, how fast it could fly, how fast it could turn, how long it was, and uh, all that stuff, and uh, and that was printed out to send to all the uh, Air Force bases. Wow! And Holy cow! So there's a good example. Uh, yeah. But it was also informational type stuff, booklets, and. Okay. Uh, okay. It was just, so it's all kinds of printing we did. It wasn't just. Okay. Mapping. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow.